been so long. I have missed you so much. I've just been so, so busy. Oh my God. Busy as a bumblebee. Anyway, I'm here to do a get ready with me. I recently bought a new foundation. It is a sheer water based foundation. I've got it on now. As you can tell, it doesn't really look like I've got anything on at all, but my skin feels so, so soft. It is called 100% Pure. I'm just showing you the packaging. It has no toxins at all in there. And it really, really smells so good. And I'll show you the foundation. It's this colour, but as you can tell, you, you can't really tell that I've got it on. But it's very, very sheer and shiny. So at the moment, I'm going to be using this as a primer slash moisturizer because you cannot really tell that I've got anything on. I've also put some lip balm on my lips because oh my god the weather is so goddamn dry and yeah winter sucks. I've got all my goodies in my lap. I'm using a different area to film and I finally got a what is it called a thingy to hold my iPad while I film which thankfully attaches to my tripod because the tripod it came with it was too heavy for the iPad and I've had to um, put lacquer bands like crisscross so the iPad won't fall so if you are going to buy a cheap like iPad holder thingy don't buy it because they are crap and this is barely holding on I'm lucky that I've got those lacquer bands like that otherwise it would have felt fallen by now anyway I'm going to start with my NYX concealer I cannot wait to order some more of the 100% pure makeup I tried, they gave me a sample of some cream that's good for dry skin and as you can tell I've got really really bad eczema, you see that there, well that's gone down so so much it's not as itchy and the cream was very very thick and oh my god it smelt amazing, like seriously amazing, it just reminded me of my sis in America that makes her own ointments it smelt pretty much exactly the same and yeah it was just so so good but yeah I'm just gonna paint my face away paint 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 painty paint paint but yeah this site they sell everything they sell foundation they sell blush they sell, sell mascara um, yeah, they sell everything, moisturizers, um, concealers, which I've got a concealer, but because, um, my skin is so goddamn dry, it really, really, really shows up my dry areas, so as soon as I, um, get some more money up because it is pretty pricey but honestly it's worth the money because I know it's going to work you know I pay like pretty much a lot of money for makeup anyway so if I just get a little bit here and there it'll be alright you know what I mean and I'll pay that money if it's going to work you know what I mean I don't mind because at the end of the day, I don't really like putting makeup on because I'm already getting stiff and lacy. Like, it's just beyond the joke. And I always clean my brushes, by the way, after every single use. So I don't reuse brushes at all. As soon as I um, 
use a brush I don't use it again even eyeshadow and with the with these one use and I throw them away so I have tried I ha have been doing all that and making sure that um, everything's like clean and stuff but yeah it's just I don't know Now I'm just using my L'Oreal Infallible. I really like this makeup. Like, it's really good. It doesn't really irritate me that much, which is good. It's usually powders that do it to me. Um, mascaras, eyeliners, things like that. They usually trigger my allergies not so much the cream but if it has a perfume scent then yeah it will but if it doesn't have a smell then I'm fine but yeah it's been so long since I've done a video got so much to catch up on and I'm sorry that I haven't been watching your videos Guys, I've just been so busy and I haven't even had time to really do anything. Um, and plus, I did want a little bit of a break, but but yeah, I just had to catch up on a hell of a lot of things that I needed to catch up on. And yeah, now they're all caught up and I'm back to it. I love this makeup like seriously I hope when I get the 100% pure makeup that the foundation is kind of this uh, coverage that would be nice that would be really nice So what have you all been up to? I recently re-dyed my hair again because the turquoise didn't work. I don't know what it is with Bright Organics. I love Bright Organics but lately it's not so much the purple or the blue. Their original colours, the, the colours that they first came out with, it's not them but it's the new ones that they've brought out like the turquoise the pastel pinks and they never want, want to stick the first time I don't know why but it's just so goddamn annoying you know it's so annoying I'm not gonna blend that in I haven't seen that <sighs> also I wanted to mention that I will show you in a second that I ordered these cute skeleton hand clips they're made of resin and Ebony Art is the one who makes them I will link her Instagram in my description box below and I'll show you the clips that's the green one it is so pretty like seriously that's the black one which I've got on today is like right there that is the purple one and this is the pink one I love the pink one oh my god seriously they are so cool and also just for a little gift she gave me two acrylic earplugs they're at 10 mil they fit perfectly just this one I'm waiting for it to um, actually go to <laughs> 10 it's been a bit of a pain in the neck I have like stretched my ears so many times like gone up and down up and down up and down had blowouts everything like that and that's why this is having trouble getting back to 10 this can go big and big and big this one I've had that in for like at eight for six months now and 
yeah, I'm just slowly kind of, every now and then I'll see how it's going and then, um, yeah. All right, what's next? I don't really want to use powder because it makes my face all, not face, but makes my hay fever even more. So I'm just going to put my mascara on. And this mascara is so goddamn weird because, as you can see, see how weird the like the bristles are. So weird. It's the spider effect by Maybelline. My favorite mascara of all time is the Wet n Wild pink one. I don't know what it's actually called, but Alicia, she uh, gave it to me in a package, like a birthday package, and oh my god, it's the best mascara ever, and I wish that Australia would sell Wet n Wild, because Wet n Wild is freaking awesome. <laughs> but I do want to make my own mascara, I just need to get one more ingredient, and then... I'll be able to make my own mascara. Like, I absolutely love wearing makeup, but it just annoys me that I can't because of the allergy type part. I know I shouldn't be wearing it, but, you know, I do because I love makeup. That is why I wear it. That is why I torture myself. <laughs> and also with my hair clips, I got pink, green, purple and black because they are kind of my zombie kitty meow colours and hey, I love those colours and I do want to get like a turquoise blue or this, even this blue, if you can see it. Yeah, that kind of blue. That's it. My hair's growing so good. I gave myself an undercut, which I'll show you. I did it myself, and it's all blue because I dyed my hair recently, like that. And it makes me look like I don't have a mullet, if you know what I mean, because my bottom part of my hair grows faster than the top part of my hair and it's a pain in the neck and yeah I'm just gonna wipe I'm just gonna dab off this lip gloss a little bit because when I put lipstick on it um, goes all weird I'm just using uh, LA Colors and the color is Sorbet, it's my favorite color of, of theirs that I've got. I think I've got like a wine color and I can't remember what the other one is. This one, it's my favorite. Favorite color. And it smells amazing, like seriously, it smells so good. I think I've done everything but eyeliner. So I'll do that now. might just put a little bit of blush on and then that's it because I don't feel like doing really a lot a lot if that makes sense just feel like doing a little bit and I'm using 
show you in a minute. The uh, W7 The Cheeky Trio. I love it. It's got highlighter. It's got... Um, Bronzer, blusher, and highlighter, actually. Yeah. And there we have it. I don't know why that side looks dark, but maybe because the light's on this side. Yeah. Oh well. So, this is just a quick sort of look that I just did now. I didn't really want to put too much makeup on because of my allergies. And I just wanted to try it without the powder. And so far, so good. It's not so bad. Recently, I bought some clothes from Berserk. And I'm wearing a top of theirs now. And I'll show you. It's of a cute little girl. And she's holding a cute bunny. And it is just so adorable. It is so adorable and I'm so glad it fits. Um, it's in a 2XL from Berserk. It's an Australian alternative shop. Another top that I got is a girl. I think she's holding like a, a knife or something. And there's skulls around her. It's really, really cute. It's kind of cute like this. I'm really excited because I've ordered a pair of my first hot chocolate shoes. And I'm really, really excited because now I can wear the dress that I bought along with this top, along with this other top because I don't have any flat shoes. And well, I do, but they don't go with what I want to wear and my style. And I'm really, really excited because they're coming today. And I'll go and I'll show you the dress and the other top that I got. So, I'm going to move back. So, this is the dress that I got. And as you can see, it's like got a skull front. And on the back, it's got Creepsville 666. I cannot wait to wear this, like with the, these shoes I'm getting. Oh my god. And... I've already worn this, but they don't really go with the shoes that I was wearing, but these shoes that are coming, holy moly. It's like an off-the-shoulder sort of top, like this. It's got like different sort of devil girl, devil pentagrams and stuff. And that is also from Creepsville. And the top I'm wearing, I did get like a... Uh, pair of moon phase pants or leggings sorry that was a um kind of hanger. so yeah i am slowly getting my new sort of wardrobe happening um i'm just really glad that i've i have been losing a lot of weight and things are starting to fit now and it's making me more determined to do more exercise and eat more better and things like that which is really good and sorry for me sniffling it's already kind of given me a little bit of um, a nose run I don't know why it does this um, but yeah it's not as bad as it normally is because I don't have the powder on and I don't really want the powder on but I reckon it the finish is so nice like seriously like I reckon that 100% pure pigmentation foundation really helps like it's so soft you can see like I don't know I've got bags and lies <laughs> uh, that's what you get when you go to bed late yeah guilty <laughs> But at least I still get up in the morning, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a few videos that I've got to do and catch up on. And I will either today or in a few days' time. I have just been flat out busy as a bee, like I said. And I really hope you enjoyed this ramble, <laughs> chit-chat, get ready with me type of video. 
I really hope you all are doing well. I'm really sorry that I haven't been watching your videos. Like I said, I have been so, so busy. And yeah, that's life for you, I guess. <laughs> also, before I forget, on the 22nd of July was National Fragile X Day, Awareness Day. So happy Fragile X Awareness Day. I know it's late. I'm really sorry. I did want to do something special for that day. But like I said, I was just so, so busy and I just, I didn't have time to come up with something um, to do for YouTube. But I will be making up for it in the next few months and also next year I'll have time to actually think about something cool to do so yeah I hope you're all having a good day please thumbs up and subscribe and just remember to always be yourself Bye. <laughs>